The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, um, we are going to talk about the E-mini S&P first. As you can see here, I put up a four-hour chart going over the last uh, six weeks. Uh, we've completed the big ABCD pattern down. We actually went below it by about 50 handles, which is not unusual because the market is extremely bearish, as we all know after watching it drop the way it's been dropping over the last, uh, well, since January 4th. Uh, the important thing now, folks, uh, and this is really, really super important. If we go below the low we just made down here at 3640 in the S&P, we're trading above 3700 now, which is good. But the ideal situation, if you want to put your kids through college, if you want to get that Lexus, if you want to do something really cool for your neighbors or something, whatever your goal is, Watch this level right here, because this level right here at 3880, okay, that would be a 382 retracement of this high right here. And if we can do it in the same time frame that it took here, which is about four days, this is going to be what is known as the proverbial dead cat bounce. And I hate to use that uh, vernacular, but by golly, that's the best way to describe it. The key level is 3880. The first key level, of course, is 3760. That's the 382 off of the smaller swing that we watch, you know, intraday and stuff. But uh, I, I don't know if this is what I see happening, but this is what I think is happening. And remember, my goal or my motto is trade what you see and not what you think. I'm waiting to see what we get here in these next few days. We, you see that we have turmoil in just about every single market that's out there. Bonds have totally collapsed. Okay, currencies are in turmoil. Okay, gold is dropping. I mean, even some of the commodities like corn, wheat, and beans have sold off a little bit. So we are in a different era, and you've got to trade it just a little bit differently. To me, this is probably one of the best opportunities we could have if it if it fulfills the way we think. Now, maybe this thing just falls down and you know starts going lower. That I don't know. But all I know is that if it takes three or four days up to 3880, boy, that's going to be a what we call a mouth-watering trade. Now, remember, we're in the time zone of the worst time of the year. Actually, the best time of the year for finding a major bottom is September and October. We've had several guests on my show, Tim Bost and Norm Winsky and uh, Stan Harley and Jeff Huge, all really great technicians, and they're looking at possible a low sometime in October and November. Uh, it varies upon which uh, person that you, we had as a guest, but they see very strongly that we have a bounce coming. Now, to me, this is what's important right now, because if we if we fail here, we're going to see a crash, folks. And I, I don't like to talk crash because, uh, you know what, I mean, you only see one of these every generation. I was here for the last one in 87. I happened to be on uh, television in Los Angeles with Bill Griffith and Sue Herrera and talking about the crash, as was uh, Arch Crawford. We were on actually the same show with Ed Hart once uh, talking about it. And that was in August of uh, 1987 when we topped on August the 25th at Harmonic Convergence. And that was nothing more than five planets in the sign of Gemini. And that happened on October 25th. The market broke down into September the 27th, my guys, here we are right now, and we had a big solar eclipse there on September 27th, and then we rallied up in a little four-day rally, and this is what I think is happening now, uh, into October the 6th, and that was a another small cycle that we watch, a little Mercury retrograde and a Venus uh, conjunct Uranus, uh, nothing more than an 88-day cycle is all it was. Split up. Anyway, we hit that on that October the 6th. We hit the exact 61% retracement, and then down we came. And, of course, the big drop occurred on October the 19th, uh, 1987, which was by 
by far the best buying opportunity of the 1980s. That was a 61% retracement of the low from the August 9th high of 1982. So that's what led us to that huge move to the upside. And we've had major corrections here, folks. You remember in 2000, you know, we dropped 80%. In 2009, we dropped about 70%. But now, but now, oh my goodness, if we drop that now, whew, that's going to hurt a lot of people. Whether that's going to happen or not, I really don't know. But our long-term projection, now this is just a short-term projection. And if we look at the uh, longer-term projection, then you'll see this is the mini longer, or a mini long. <laughs> now you know why I'm not a professional announcer. <laughs> okay, here's the smaller swing. You see that one measures down to right here. We've actually gone down to this level right here. Here's where we are right now. I think we get a little bit more of a bounce, and then we get down to this one, then we're going to see what happens. But the longer-term picture, the longer-term picture is the one you want to keep your eye on the prize because that's even larger. And if you take a look at that one, we'll get this up here so you'll be able to see the 61% retracement. This is where we're going eventually, and I believe we will be there by Election Day. That's my forecast is we should be right around this level or lower around the election day. So you can see that's where we are right now, and that's where we think we're going. And look how much we've come down so far in a very, very short uh, 10 weeks. Uh, that's, uh, that's telling us something, something's rotten in Denmark. Look at the – you'll see here on this – look at the uh, – hold on one second, folks. There's a uh, – okay, just a second here. i got to – Take care of a little mosquito here. Believe it or not, we have mosquitoes here in Arizona. And we got that one taken care of. But this was the COVID break, you see. And we've already exceeded the COVID break right here. See, there's there was a COVID break. There was this break right here. Look what happened after the COVID break. We just went straight up. I mean, it was just no no holes barred. And that which which I believe is probably the final top. Now... Since I'm on a different uh, network, a different show today, I wanted to show one of the charts that I uh, bring to to uh, to show the folks because it has A, B, C, D in it. But it comes from Stansbury Research, Porter Stansbury and his group, Bill Bonham. We'll get this up here and take a look at it. As you can see here, this was the 1987 crash. It looks like a little blip, and folks. In real life, it was a real blip, but if you lived through it like I did, it was not a blip. There's the big ABCD pattern right here. Look at this ABCD right here. This is the one from 2009. That was March 5th. Boy, that was a monster low. Uh, I, I had been uh, doing the Tom O'Brien show. Uh, well, it was actually my own show from 2007, and I said on that date that it was the best buying opportunity uh, since 1938. And by golly, it just happened to be we went up and made the ABCD, and we're going to pay a few bills right now. 877 927 6648. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, diverse partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're going to talk about treasury bonds and treasury notes now. This is where the real problem is, folks. It's not in the stock market. Uh, this is just the debt market. And if you remember two and a half years ago, they were t well, it was a year and a half ago, they were telling us about negative interest rates. Well, that's not a problem anymore because interest rates on a mortgage is now hit six and a quarter percent here in Tucson this week, uh, up from a tad higher than they were just six weeks ago at 3%. Now they're six and a quarter. And not only that, but the requirements now are much more difficult. Now, as you can see from this chart here in the Treasury notes, that we've been going, making 382 retracements all through here. The last one we made back here was 10 weeks ago when we were uh, trading right into the Federal Reserve. And everybody said, oh, interest rates are going to be dropping again. Well, they are dropping, but upside down. This thing is now exceeded. We're down into the area where we should have some really strong support between 1.27 and 1.618, but it's not really happening. And remember, folks, there's so many black swan events out there that could really put this market into illiquidity, and that is, you know, well, you could go through them all. First, the situation in China, uh, rumors of President Xi being overthrown, which have to be rumors. <laughs> and the second thing is the real estate market over there is collapsing. Uh, one third of the people that have mortgages there are on strike. They won't pay the mortgages. Uh, we also have a situation in Ukraine. We have a situation uh, all over Europe with the collapsing of the you know, pound in uh, London. I mean, there's just one thing right after another that could cause something you know, really, really dramatic to happen. Whether it will or not, I'm not sure. But anyway, we've done the notes. Now what we want to do is we also want to take a look at the T-bonds. Now the notes are much, much larger than the T-bonds, folks. They're about six times larger because that's the, the vehicle that you use for credit and your credit cards and all the other stuff. That's the rate that they use. But anyway, you can see the big ABCD measured here to 128, folks. We hit a, we hit a handle yesterday, folks, of 125.16, I believe, which was a, a, quite a bit below the, the, lower than the target. But we should have a bounce in here. And that's all we're going to get is a little bounce. Now, a 382 bounce on this is is worth sixteen or $17,000. Now, A, I'm not... 
I am not picking a bottom. No, sir. I'm watching it shorter term, and by golly, it's doing the same thing that it's been doing for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Let me get this up here to show you what it's been doing. And here we go. This happens to be a 15-minute chart over the last three days uh, in the Treasury bonds. Those of you that uh, came on to my show here on the 20th, uh, we talked about this 382 retracement. You can see the first 382 retracement was right here. There's your second 382 retracement uh, right up in here at 127. And now we're heading down. Uh, a little more whether it's going to be another bottom or not I'm not sure because this is a short-term pattern but it's lining up the way that it should okay now here's another one uh, I have to show you these because they're they're really they're life-changing folks if you learn how to use them but take a look at this this is natural gas the wildest thing on the planet for trading this thing swings five and ten thousand dollars every day in a normal day Look at this. You have a 382 retracement here five or six days ago. You come all the way down here, and look, you make a perfect A, B, C, D to the downside, and then you rally. This move here was 10 grand, folks. Last night we had a perfect 382 retracement. We've already dropped, uh, you know, well over uh, $2,000 uh, early this morning. And this is when they're in the middle of winter or starting winter over there. You think natural gas would be, you know, uh, a chosen asset, but it's not. They don't want it. The news that we're getting is not matching what these charts are telling us, folks. So we got to pay attention to that. That's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, now that happens to be the Treasury bonds, and we did the Treasury notes. Now we want to go over and talk about some of the things that are in the news constantly and have been for quite some time, and that is the U.S. dollar index. Now, I talked about this yesterday because it was at a very critical level, and I'll show you what we're looking at here. Put the chart up, and then we'll be okay. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. You can see the ABCD structure on the way up, the last leg. There's your 382 retracement. There's your A, B, C, D. Look, folks, we came within five pips of the 1.618 expansion. And we backed off a little bit, but not very much. You know, that's the, that's the whole key. Now, I probably get more questions about the British pound than anything because we have so many friends and relatives over in the U.K. that, uh, by golly, it's something that you've got to uh, – uh, watch because they, they're always asking you a question about what's going to happen next with the British pound. And frankly, you know, we don't know. All, all we know is that it's had one heck of a run. That's about, you know, all you can really say. I mean, it's, uh, it's a really big one. We're going to bring this up here to show you what this is on the long-term basis. Now, this is the British pound. Now, remember, I am just a technician, a pretty good one, but I'm just a technician. Here's the British pound. You can see the 135 pattern. Now, on this day right here in April of last year, uh, let's try it again, Larry. April of this year, uh, we were in London, and we said this is where the pound should start to break. And now you see what's happened. We broke yesterday, folks. On Friday, we were down 450 pips, and then we were down 500 pips uh, on uh, Sunday night, uh, l last night. Yeah, was it last night? Yeah, Monday night. And then we've had a bounce. We got all the way down to 103, and we bounced up to 109. Now, the key level here, if you're trading the British pound, is to pay attention to this next number. It's 118. That's the 382 of that whole move from April. So if we get a 382 retracement over the next few days, uh, look at, possibly going short there because that would take out last week's high by a little bit and everybody think oh everything's great it's copacetic yeah well it's uh cacacetic because it's not going to go up you know this this pound is headed for parity and under the abcd on this structure folks structure is none other than 85 it was trading for 85 in 1985 when I was in Pismo Beach, California, and my friend Byron Tucker was there, and he was trading foreign currencies for Leo Malaman, and Leo was loading up the British pound at one at, at 85, uh, and that was when they were having a big uh, meeting at the Chase 
uh, excuse me, the, uh, oh, I can't remember that hotel now, uh, right on Central Park. Anyway, uh, that uh, was one of the big, uh, you know, uh, G7 meetings. And stuff. It was before G7 and stuff, but it was a big uh, foreign exchange group, uh, the central bankers getting together. That was the bottom of the pound. And from then, there we rallied all the way up into this level here, as you can see. And now we're coming back, you know, down a whole lot more. So have some trouble over in the U.K., but they'll get through it just like we'll get through all of ours. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I have a chart up of the USO, which is the ETF for the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, oil market. And as you can see here, this is a weekly chart. It's completing a beautiful ABCD pattern there on the weekly. So we might be right near a major bottom in the oil market. Uh, we've been talking about that with the situation with natural gas and also with heating oil and a gasoline they're all looking at like it's the same same pattern now I wanted to go a little bit deeper now and the uh, fact is we get this from my good friend Alan Smith over in the UK who's a very large oil speculator and uh, speculator is he's an intelligent risk speculator folks he knows what he's doing okay now let's take a look here now this is a little bit different because this is we're going down to a much smaller time frame folks as you can see here, when we're watching this, we're looking at a daily, a four-hour chart. Okay, uh, how do I unpause? I don't know how to unpause my chart. Is it working now, Al? Let me let me try it again. Hold on just a second. 
Uh, all right, just give me a second and get in. Uh, okay, it's okay now. Anyway, you can see the ABCD patterns on here. Look, you come down. You, there's your, look at your 382 right here, folks. You ever wonder about 382? This is what I think is what we're looking at here in the stock market here the next few days. And then you come down, you make your bottom down in here. But look at this big bottom. We've got the big A, B, C, D down. A, B, C, D, okay? Then we got two others coming in here. you got the smaller one right there and the larger one right there. This tells us we're going to get a pretty good bounce in the crude oil, if in, in, in the whole complex is what it looks like. Maybe the energy complex, you know, rises the market because of, uh, you know, it's been the stronger of, the, of a weak market, you know. <laughs> And believe me, they've been very, very weak, that's for sure. Okay, now let's get back and uh, talk about the German DAX because our good friend Tommy Terrific, Tom Hugard, trades that uh, a lot, and he has been on the uh, negative side of that for ooh, about four and a half weeks right now, pressing really hard over the last uh, you know, six or seven uh well, excuse me, since the middle of September, and you'll see why here, because when you're looking at this German DAX, you're seeing the same ABCD pattern that we see in the uh, E-mini S&P, the Dow Jones, and the NASDAQ. That's that big ABCD coming in right here, and there's another, you can see here, there's a three drive to a bottom pattern coming in at the same time. So as long as we hold this low, and I think we can for a few days, and that's all you're going to get is a few days and then look out because they're going to come down. And uh, October is going to be a month to remember, folks, just like it was in 1987. Uh, maybe it'll be a major bottom. Maybe it'll be the start of something even bigger or better or worse. I don't know. All I know is volatility is here to stay. You know, we've been saying for months and months and months, if you got the volatility index anywhere near 10, buy it because volatility is going to increase. And now you see where volatility is. It's trading around 20. I think it's about, well, it's way above 30 right now. So we're going to find out how this uh, ends up. But uh, volatility is definitely here to stay. Okay, now I wanted to cover a couple of other uh, currencies because they they're all part of the mix so just give me a second here and i want to get the uh australian dollar up by the way if you did that trade uh in the uh the 382 trade in the treasury bonds uh you now have about a 500 well 400 dollars profit so i'll put that up here so you can see it so make sure you put your stop at break even on that because that way you're in a risk-free environment and that's where you try to be Every time you trade, you don't always get that chance, but this one was perfect. You had a high right over here. There's your 382 retracement exactly. You come down, you make the 382 again of you know this other number way back here. That's the 382 of that whole number, folks. It also happens to be 50% of that one. So tells you that the bonds have not stopped going down. Now, the only chance they have today is if they can get above that 128 level up above here then they'll say, uh-oh, maybe this is finally getting ready to have a three- or five-day, ten-day rally, whatever it's going to be, because I don't know how long it's going to be. I'm just watching to see, you know, what these numbers are. I told you the numbers to watch in the S&P, there's two. 3760 is the first one, and the second one is 3880. If you get a spike up to 3880 any time in the next few days, have your selling shoes on, folks, because that one's going to be uh, the big daddy rabbit. That'll be the one that's going to be really pretty cool. Uh, those of you that were on the show here, uh, on my show on Friday, uh, I was talking about that right before, of course, I was on at 1 o'clock and the market closed at uh, 1 to 2, so it's still uh, two hours to go. But uh, if you, oh, excuse me, one hour to go, two hours to go. But anyway, look, I was saying here that you can see the 382s all the way down, but I was saying the market had a chance to rally here into this level right here, which was the 382 of the high we made back here when we had that Fed Day thing where the market was 2,300 points in the Dow Jones. 2,300 because you were six up, six down, and then 12 down. I mean, that that's how you could come up with those big, big numbers. And then it broke the first chance it got was right there at a 382 retracement here and then down. So there's the 382 retracement. We've hit this thing four times since Monday, folks. So this is uh, 
and this is only Tuesday, well, Sunday night. So it, it's, it's got some major, major resistance in here. And if we can get above that, and if we can get above that, you'll be looking at 37.60 in the S&P. And you'll also be looking at 38.80 potentially, which is the long-term weekly pattern that we're watching here. So I hope that uh, lines it up for you to see what we're looking at. Now, I wanted to get back to the currencies and uh, show you folks, you know, what we're looking at on some of these because they have had a tremendous collapse. Let me get down here because we are almost here uh, in the British pound. And let's try it again, Larry. We've already made the British pound. This is the Australian dollar. We're going to get this up here. And as you can see, it's been bearish for a long time. There was your 382 retracement right here. And look at the 135 pattern here, folks. There's 1, 3, and 5. Just absolutely perfect. The last one being 38% of the high that we made back here on this day. In other words, down right here is a 38% retracement. And then bada bing, bada boom, we're coming down into 63 and change. We got to 64 and change uh, yesterday, but we still have more to go uh, to the downside. But as you can see, these patterns are completing. That's why... I am on the firm belief that we're probably going to get a pretty good bounce here in stocks. Uh, I don't know, three, five, ten days. I don't know what, it won't be ten. Three to five days is all you're going to get, and it'll probably be a 382 off of that previous high. Those are those numbers that I gave you uh, earlier this morning. 37.60 in the S&P is the, the first 382, and then the larger one right behind it is 38.80. So anything above 38.80 this stock market might have made a major bottom in here, but I certainly don't see that under any stretch of the imagination, folks. I really don't. And I spent a lot of time with cycles, and it doesn't look like that. And the market action is telling you that's not what's happening either. If this were a major bottom, we would be up 700 points in the Dow Jones already today because it's, it'll trap those shorts in. It'll look out, Gertrude. They'll... <laughs> They'll tear the uh, little their little their uh, their little hats off because uh, that's not a good or an acronym uh, because that's where the real action is going to be is when those shorts start to cover and uh, it'll be a monster but uh, and maybe it maybe it's a major bottom that's the question that everybody will be asking as it rallies and my answer to that is no we'll be right back folks eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back. I posted the chart of the Canadian dollar versus the U.S. dollar. It should be reversed. Sorry, folks. It's a U.S. dollar versus the Canadian dollar. In other words, the U.S. dollar is very strong against the Canadian dollar. As you can see here, we were setting up there at the 61% retracement on the long-term uh, weekly chart, and we went through that like it didn't even exist on Sunday and Monday. So it's exploded to the upside, just like our dollar index did. Uh, but that's uh, we're getting close to what I think is going to be a minor top here in the U.S. dollar. We have a little bit of a correction and then more uh, of the same because these markets are looking at things that are very, very unusual with liquidity. Uh, with the, the 30, stop and think of this, folks. This is the problem that we're having. The two-year bond, okay, is selling for 4.3 this morning. And the 30-year bond is selling at 2.6. The 30-year, folks, in, in a hunt since 1896, that's 30 years after the Civil War. They've never seen that before. And it's not a good thing. There's always been a recession or a depression when you see something like that. That means that people are willing to, to give up the unknown of 30 years to get a safer rate on the two-year Treasury note and a Treasury bond. A, a two-year is is a note. It's not a bond, but some people call it a note. A bond is uh, anywhere from two year, two no, two yeah, two years to uh, I believe uh, ten years. Uh, no, two to five is the notes, and then bonds are five to thirty. So, but the way they structure it, sometimes they. It's hard to tell what they are, but they put the name right on the instrument, so that's a good thing anyway. Okay, let's move on here and talk about uh, uh, Dr. Copper, because Dr. Copper has been in trouble. <clears throat> There's a question here. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, but what's it growing? I've got a little frog in my throat this morning. And there we go. Here, I'll take a little bit of drink of uh, water. Now, you see here that we're very close to making this ABCD pattern here. Uh, in the uh, copper. In fact, I believe we made that on Tuesday. This is Tuesday. I meant yesterday. So anything <clears throat> below this level right now, which would be around 320, if we get below, starting to get below 320 in the copper, that means it's failing, and that is not a very good sign. This rally right here was a 382 rally of the high that we made way back here. So this is a really important level here that we're looking at in copper. So keep your fingers crossed. We need to get a uh, really nice uh, ABCD uh, rally here, hopefully at uh, 3880 over the next few days. But since we've got time and we've only got a few minutes left, let's get together and see what we're looking at here as far as uh, possible uh, trading uh, environment today. So let's take a look. At the uh, since we're talking about the E-mini S&P, we'll get it up and we'll put a chart up and I'll show you what we're what we're looking at right here. Okay, we're in pretty good shape here. All right, now there's where we are. Hold on, I want to show you the pattern here because this is uh, this is what we're looking at here. Hold on. All right, now here's what's happened so far during the night, folks. We had a nice rally. Okay, we'll get this up here. We had a nice rally. 
What did we do? We pulled right down to a 382 retracement. Now we're moving higher. So how high are we going to go? Don't know. All I know is this looks like an A, B, C, D to the upside. So if you go from 36.43 all the way up, you go 80 handles, you just add 80 handles to this right here, and folks, it's going to get you way above 37.60, and that is the 382 of the whole thing, and that tells you that the market wants to go to 38.80. Now, 38.80 will be 500 handles, 210 handles off of our low. If we can get that, and I'll be on the air. I will not be doing my show today, folks, because it's a travel day, but I will be doing it on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Hopefully by Friday, that's where we'll stand. We'll be completing this, but we shouldn't get any more than a three-day bounce. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday at the latest, uh, possibly even Friday, but usually Thursday at the latest. Because the market's in a bearish tone, and people need to get out, and they're waiting. The people who haven't got out are waiting for a rally to get out, and that rally is not coming, and that's not a bad, that's not a good sign, boys and girls. So you want to you add those together, okay? And that's going to give you your target way up here, uh, substantially above 3760. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to move down to a 15-minute chart. And just draw that pattern in so that you'll be able to see it. And hold on one second here. And we just need to take this out. And then we'll get ready and put this in here right here. Oh, this is going to take you right up to it, boys and girls. Oh, dear. This is uh, either going to be today or tomorrow. So, oh, it's going to take us right there. Shut the front door. 3764. Are you kidding me? You can't make this up. Anyway, here's what it looks like under ABCD structure. You'll see the 382 retracement right here. That's where we are. There's where we're going. 3764. One day, two days, three days. Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. If we're right here, well, it can't be Tuesday because today's already Tuesday. But by Wednesday or Thursday, if you're sitting right here at 3760, uh, get your selling shoes on, folks. Take them to the dance. Because they're getting ready to show what's going to be happening next. This is a very bearish market that we're in. We're going to keep going lower. So look for 382 ABCD patterns to uh, uh, to get short. And this would be one of them. So it could even be today, later in the day. Because, you know, maybe they'll come out and say something really great. Like uh, there's a new Elvis Presley movie out, which they've already had one of those. It'll be something really, really bullish. And the market will initially react to it. And then it'd give it all back in a matter of a very, very short time, just like we've done over the last three weeks on the way down from August the 26th, which was a major, major day up into here. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648, please give me a call, and I'll be happy to try to answer any questions. We do have a question from Stanley in Hong Kong, for heaven's sakes, and he's asking how does the Hong Kong market compare with what's going on in the United States? Well, Stanley, I just happen to keep that up here. So if you give me a second, I will bring the chart up and you'll be able to see it because it is certainly a, a lot different than the one. Oh, dear. Have I lost it? I don't think so. There it is right here. Okay. Give me one second here. All right. Now, this is a daily. So bear with me here. You can see we've been in a really big down move here. But we've had a really nice market from the short side, which we've been expecting. But here's where we are. Oh, we've got to take a break here in just a second. But here is the Hong Kong market. You'll see here we've broken down below any support. And you can see the ABCDs here. This is another ABCD. We just keep dropping, folks. That's a sign the market's not finished puking out all the longs. And I don't know what's going to, what it's going to take. They're very, very oversold. And at any time, you can get those big runs. But watch that 3760 in the S&P. That's going to be the one that is going to be the, the real daddy rabbit here. Hey, we're going to take a little break. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. TFNN. If you want to
want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the Treasury bonds over the last couple days. I pointed out those 382 retracements when we were on the air here. I pointed it out that was at 127. They're now trading at 126.20. That's $500 to the downside. If you did that trade, make sure you put your stop at break even and then pray for the best and see what happens from that level because it's coming down very hard. But right now, it could reverse. And if it does, you don't want to be in it. So put your stop there at break even. Then you don't have to worry about it. This business of trading, folks, is not losing. In other words, the best loser wins, as Tom Hugard says. And the best loser wins when he knows he's wrong. So if you've got a nice profit, which $500 is a nice profit, you certainly don't want to let that go to a loss. And look what it would look like now if it got back there after selling off almost a full point. It means things are not nearly as squirrely as they seem in the Treasury bond market. But right now, this is one of those times you say, well, I got to dance with the one that brought me to the dance, as Yogi would say. And this is the one, that 382, the best pattern I've seen hands down over all of them. That's Gartley, Butterfly, well, not ABCD, but boy, that 382 is a monster, folks. I mean, not only that, but you've got the, you know, the financial people on your side because, you know, they're seeing things and they make these rules and that makes it, you know, accentuate it even better. So they know what's happening. So uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow, my regular show will be uh, ready to go, I believe. I'm sitting, through, sitting here for Tommy this morning. He'll be back tomorrow, and everything will be uh, copacetic, as they say in the trade. So uh, I want you to live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And try to do something nice 
for your neighbors, folks. The neighbors are very, very important. And if you don't have the background or the backing of your neighbors, you know, you're missing a, a really great thing because what it'll do is it puts that family structure together in a way that makes it uh, a lot easier to live. So that's it. And we'll see you on the flip side uh, on my regular show tomorrow at 1 p.m. And my guest will be none other than Tim Boss of Financial Cycles Weekly. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock